Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wes. For all of those that are new, consider hanging out to the end. And everyone else, welcome back to our little Staxel farm. And you might see that a little bit is changed. And I'm going to go over that today. So other than that, let's get started. All right, so now to kind of give you a rough idea of what went on, uh, like I was talking to you, I went ahead and built the barn off camera, uh, kind of getting a simple outline of what I, I wanted to show you. So here's the first kind of part of the barn, and that's for our two amazing cows, uh, who are hungry, by the way, so we'll have to take care of that, however we're going to do that since we're poor. Um, and then that can be the stall for either a sheep or a pig, and then rinse and repeat, this can be for chickens or a pig, and then we just kind of move down the line. Okay, so we need to take care of our crops. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show you is I already kind of had plans. So when this crop is done, I actually want to move them. I'm going to move all the newer crops to these two. So I can just have a nice cleaner farm that's not kind of all over the place. So um, if you, you can kind of see here with this, um, that they're almost done. And so I don't remember what these are, but they're growing healthy, whatever they are. So now one thing I wanted to kind of talk to some of the newer players that might not be familiar with this game on um, coming in kind of into this season, you notice how grass will grow. And if you have any just plain dirt blocks, it's kind of like Minecraft. It'll just grow right over them. Now, here's the thing. I forgot to mention when I first put down the the, uh, the crops is you see how this grass is now touching with this. It's fine right now since these this, these are tilled, but the second you untill them or it, it the game thinks, you know, they've just been there too long, the grass will grow over them. And it's more annoying than anything else. So what I like to do is make these little like stone boxes. It's just the normal cobblestone and and that's what I use to make it. And so that's what I use to kind of separate the dirt and the grass from our tilled dirt, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, so that's going, that's going good. Nothing else is really new other than that. You know what? We have some mail that I totally didn't check out last episode so that we could do it together. Okay, so here we go. It says, hey there, congratulations on your new mailbox. My name is Robin and I'm one of the two designated postmen for your region. Um, you know, it's easier to read when I don't have to do a voice and I don't know if this is a guy or a girl, so we'll just kind of keep going here. I got a few tips for you. I think Warren was going to send you something too, but knowing her, okay, so we know the other person's a her. She probably got lost trying to deliver it. I'm joking. Of course, send help. I think <laughs> I made her angry. You probably got a few letters from, you probably get a few letters from time to time, mostly from other residents looking for help or sending you gifts, but sometimes you might get something from out of town. That's actually really cool. I hope so. Doesn't matter which post box, you, post box you check either. We're pretty good at making sure your post is exactly where you need it to be. Except, you know, the U.S. post office. Um, when you need it. It's probably a good idea to keep an eye on your mail to make sure you don't miss anything important. Hey, so here's Warren. Hello. Oh, I guess it's a girl. Hello. I deliver letters. I don't write them. Regards. Warren. <laughs> congratulations! Dear Westman 2, congratulations! Your island has been randomly selected in our latest lottery to receive a so total sum of 200,000 petals! Okay. <laughs> uh, petals. Distributed. Distributed? Distributed. Apparently is what it came out. At random amongst the villagers. May your share bring you much joy. We thank you for the continued patronage. Murmur. Kasasana. All right, guys, I'm sure if you're new to the game, you're excited. You're like, oh, my gosh, 200,000 petals. You know, there's only like six people in town. So that means, you know, if we even can get that, it should be a good healthy sum. It's going to be 10 petals. Yeah, sorry, guys. You know, when I first came across the first playthrough, I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. I could use the money. And then, you know, they go and and do that to you. Because look, let's see real quick. So it says distributed amongst the town people. So what do we got? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and me makes nine. Okay, so we know that at least nine will go into 22 times for 18, leaving a remainder of two, and then you know you can do two, 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 two. Anyways, you should at least get, um, is that 2,000? No, it should be, yeah, 2,000. No, 20 grand, right? Anyways, um, I don't know how to do math on the top of my head right now because I'm also recording. Anyways, uh, what was I planning on doing? Oh, yeah, we have animals to feed and no money. That seems to always be the problem. 
and I can't remember if if I found the mine or not. I'm pretty sure I did because that's how we were able to get the money the first time. Um, you know what? Do I have a bug net? We can go and do that. There we go. Uh, we'll catch some bugs and just for some, I guess, just go around town is really what I'm trying to say. And then I kind of had a million thoughts as I was saying that. So here we go. So if you're new to the channel and you're new to the game, first of all, welcome to both of you. Second of all, uh, Staxel has a few hidden items in the game. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's 13 items uh, that I know of right now. So if you have a town which is randomly generated to some degree, uh, usually by one of the shops, you'll kind of see this outcropping of rock that doesn't look like it belongs there. It's because it doesn't. If so you take your handy dandy pick and you pick around all of the moss and, and stone, you find a little bobblehead. Um, and congratulations, you know, you found the first kind of Easter egg in the game. Um, and you can just kind of put him around your house or whatever you want to do with him. You can't sell him, I think, but I don't think they're worth, you know, much. Oh, okay, I lied. They're worth <laughs> 600. You know, maybe that, that update is what did it because I don't remember them being that much. Or me being me, I liked, you know, I like collectibles, so I couldn't think of, couldn't think of selling it. Okay, so we're going to grab a few items um, as far as bugs, and I just had an idea. We need to build Raya her fishing pond, fishing spot, um, we need some rhino beetles to get that. So that's what we're going to work on right now, since we're already looking for bugs to sell. Uh, now, rhino beetles are beetles that look like they have two horns, i.e. rhino beetles, um, and they usually are on trees, right? And you need two of them. And because, again, the game's random in regards to what spawns where, why, and when, which I couldn't tell you 100% all the time um, of how or why, you kind of just have to go explore, right? So there's one right now. So we kind of lucked out, uh, as I was telling you, and so that's what a rhino beetle looks like. Can I? Oh, I did. So there you go. So kind of give a better close-up. That's what it looks like, right? It has the two kind of horns. And so now just kind of keep your eyes out for those because you'll need them in the future, right? So if before you even get the quest to to build Raya or anything and you're just kind of keeping that in the back of your head, uh, you'll you'll be ahead of schedule, so to speak. Okay, so I'm looking for one more because we do need two. And, I mean, we haven't been doing this long, so I don't think you guys are going to get bored just yet. And besides, we're all kind of just hanging out anyways. All right, so I'm looking on the trees. I'm looking out for bees. Um... Looking out for the sea, and that's about as far as my rhyming will go right now. Is that a... Oh, yeah, so sometimes you'll find these cool little chests, um, and they're filled with 200 petals. I don't know if that's consistent, or if I just kind of rolled and got 200. We'll have to find another one to find out. Okay, anything on the trees. Uh, so if you guys see one, go ahead and just let me know if I pass right by it. Another thing to keep out in mind uh, early on is to look for kind of like a hole in the ground and you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it and that's the mine and in the mine there's a bunch of items that you know you can either use early on or you just destroy and sell back to this town and then you get a lot of money really quickly and you don't have to worry kind of about the the initial grind because immediately you can just kind of throw all the first bit of money just straight into farming and look there's the second rhino beetle so we actually uh lucked out because in my first series it took me, I think it took me like 20 minutes to find both, um, because one of the episodes was a little over, and it practically took me the last half of the episode uh, or so to get it, <laughs> and you know, no luck. Okay, so now that that's the case, let's see, we're home is that way, well, what's that over there, in between the mountain? Let's go, well, let's not just face plant into rocks and wonder why I'm not moving, um, and then let's go check what that was, because I don't know if it's just a train glitch or if there's something actually in the hill. Um, let's get my axe out, just in case we need to, like, kill something. Hey, a queen bee! That's actually really important. We're going to need one of these. Okay, come on. And boop. Okay, so now the queen bees are important, because when you can buy apiaries, you can then put the bee in them, the queen bee. And if you don't grab any additional bees that you might find laying around, it'll take 10 stacks of days to get the hive to be full before... The queen will start producing honey. Okay, yeah, so it's just a little bit of train 
kind of glitch and it's not some cool secret thing that is in the middle of the mountain like I was hoping it was going to be. Uh, so as I was saying about the apiary and the honeys, you know, when the bee, the queen bee has all 10 workers, then it takes like three days, again, stacks of days, uh, to make a pot of honey that you'll need to get some empty jars to collect. And once you get that, then, you know, you sell that. Um, I'm sure it's used in recipes. I just, again, the cooking side of this game, I really haven't gotten too far into it. So, you know, you know, we can kind of learn together. If you know what's going on, then, you know, just feel free to let me know what's going on in the comments. Okay, so that's our home. I remember that we, we, what's the called? We put the, we already put the sign down, right? By my house. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so first of all, that's my house. Second of all, that has to be it. Let's see, we can just go straight across the river and not even have to worry about it. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you know what? Just quick idea. Since we're already going this way, let's grab some of our crickets and we need those. We don't need that. The dragonfly and the red dragonfly. Um, we can go ahead and just sell. Make some money. Uh, and then hopefully buy, be able to buy some feed for our animals. Okay, sell $18. $18. $12. See, if, to me, if you love catching... Okay, that was worth it. If you like catching bugs, then it can be really lucrative to you. In all honesty, if you just find the mine and you spend, like, equally amount of... Haha, uh, I can't speak tonight. If you spend the same amount or equal amount that we spend just finding those six or, five, uh, six or seven bugs, then, you know, you could walk out with closer to, you know, like, ten grand. Um, in just regards to... There's just so much... Um, you can find down there and it's worth quite a bit. So here's the fishing spot. And so this is what we're gonna uh, toggle and work on today. So you see we need 14 blocks of water, which were totally fine. We need 10 wood to make kind of what would look like a dock. We need a fishing rack, a bait box, and a barrel. Uh, the barrel is pretty straight uh, forward. We have one laying around, at least we did. So we'll have to go find one. Um, in all honesty, I might just give myself one because you're technically supposed to have four or five laying on your farm. Just doing not much. Okay, so, um, barrel, 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 bait box, recipe, naming form. Yeah, no one really commented what we want to name our, our, uh, our two cows. Come on, guys. You got one more chance before, you know, I make a executive, uh, executive, executive decision and change them. Anyways, comment down below. So let's see, it should have been down bait box. There we go. So the bait box needs lumber, steel, um, two nails or a nail and two rhino beetles. Okay, so let's go buy some of those. Um, this is gonna be gonna be expensive, and we still haven't really fed our animals. I can't remember if I found the mine already in this episode or this season. It's been a while since I've done some of the episodes, and I haven't had a chance to kind of look back in some of the other episodes and be like, oh yeah, no, we did that, like I usually do. So let's just go exploring, and since I see some bugs already, um, we might as well just put them in our inventory and sell them. Like that one, because that one the Monarch sold for quite a bit. Uh, there is diminishing returns in this game, so if you sell a big batch of something, make sure you can sell it at a big batch of something, because if you send it individually, the price per unit goes down. Uh, as if you think about it, the market just gets flooded. Which, I mean, makes sense, but I'm not so sure how long you have to wait before it resets. <laughs> There's not that many people in, in the town to buy stuff, and I don't think we export anything. Okay. We're looking for a hole in the ground. I vaguely remember doing this. I thought I did. And again, it could have just been one of my other seasons that I've, you know, done this. Because that seems like my, my go-to is you always just find the mine, you kind of rip up what's in it, you use what you can, and then you sell the rest, and then all of a sudden... You know, you're walking away with anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars, and you know you're just kind of living the life and buying a bunch of stuff that you need early on. Because if not, then it's just really boring, um, at, at least to watch, right? So you, you guys, you know, if you're just playing at home, you know, so what if you know it takes you, you know, three, four hours to get? <laughs> In equivalent to this, that'd be like six episodes, right? <laughs> um, to get to get your three hours, so. Uh, let's just, I'm trying to keep this going. Um, okay. So I'm not seeing the mine anywhere relatively close. It doesn't mean it's not existent. Um, 
It just means that I'm either blind or I'm not looking too hard, which can be the case. We're going to sell these and then we're going to get some of the materials like this sheet metal uh, and then the lumber we should have already on us. So yeah, so 120, 30, 42, that's not bad. The queen bees, I think they sell for quite a bit, but I mean, we want them. Yeah, so 180, but you know, we want this. And then the rhino beetles, we don't sell. We have lumber on us. Okay, so as far as that, that's what we need. We just need the this shop over here. This, this map is completely backwards to what I'm used to in my other seasons, so bear with me if I get turned around. Okay, so we should be able to just go straight in the back here, grab the sheet metal for 40, go back and see what else, what is it? Lumber, sheet metal, nails, all right, yeah, nails, two rhino beetles, and we need the carving station uh, to put the lumber and the sheet metal and the nails, and then you need the combined station to get the box with the two rhino beetles. Ah, I didn't even think about that, so they're not gonna have all the tables, it's just these three saw, assemble, and tile. Um, everything else we have to buy, for instance, carving, construction, um, and combining station. And I didn't realize they're grand each. Dang it. Okay, so I guess that determines that right now. Let's use the remainder of our money to actually buy food for our animals, and then we'll worry about... Oh, Oscar. Um, we'll worry about getting to the, the dock, I guess, another episode. Ah, oh, man, I don't even know what to call this episode now, because we're not doing that. We're not really doing much of everything other than everything. Okay, so food will be on this side. We need pet food, and we need not chicken feed, but we need trough food. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll buy two, and then the rest of money. In all honesty, our, our money is just in, in, is in like, fluid, if you will, uh, because where do I live? There we go, because we're waiting for those crops to grow, and we're only in the seventh day of spring. Okay, is there anything else I can grab that will grow within the season with 16 days? Okay, so onion seeds uh, will grow in all seasons. Okay, so, I mean, that's a safe bet, right? So let's sell them back. Is there anything else that we can... Is that what we bought? I think it was sweet potatoes, right? They grow six days in the spring. Okay, so six, then seven is 13, so that means we can still grow these um, and not have to worry, have a three-day grace period. Oh, well, I can only buy three. <laughs> so I guess that determines that. Maybe that's why we were so poor is because I bought... We bought, what, we have 15, I think? It means we had to buy buy five sets, yeah, at three hundred dollars a piece. Oh, maybe we did then go down in the mine, and then we just turned it all into um, sweet potato seeds, which wouldn't make sense, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna fill both troughs up. Each trough will now have four units of food, um, and so they'll eat that every day slowly. Um, yeah, and I'm really thinking these look like sweet potatoes. So let's go ahead and just plant them here, since I told you, you know, we're kind of. We're wanting to change this, and so now we can put that down, and then feed Tiger. He's probably hungry. Put some extra there. Oh yeah, look, I have a crate, so that means I did find the mine. <laughs> so that means uh, I'll have to check between uh, this episode and, the, and you know the next one for you guys to see what the heck I was doing and why I can't seem to to find it. So there's what is this? Is this a ladybug? It is. It is a ladybug. Okay, I wasn't sure if the game was gonna say it was something else. Well, now I'm kind of bummed out. I mean, we, we've we done a little bit, but not much, right? I mean, that's all I could do. Another thing what we can do, too, is as I kind of just um running and rolling with this episode, is if we go over into those ever trees over there, we might be able to find another cabin, and if that's the case, then we can destroy it, and then use those wooden planks to build the deck and all of that. Hopefully. In theory, that is, if we find it. Okay. No. I'm not seeing anything too crazy. Um. Hey, look, there it is. Okay. So at least there's one thing, right? We can call like cabin hunting <laughs> or something. You know, where I'm actually able to do something right here. And now, like I was telling you guys last episode, so those that are new, let's just... Wait, the easiest way is just dig all around it. Right? Just rip up what you can, get rid of what is not needed around it, and then the entire structure will just fall in on itself uh, because there's no foundation or ground blocks. Uh, so you just got to make sure that every block, and I mean every block is not touching anything, because uh, even just one block will uh, keep this on the ground uh, and not blow it up like you'll see in a sec if I can do this. All right. 
all of this goes back into the inventory. Grab that. Okay, so that's that. Um, I guess since it's pretty, again, these are pretty boring times. Let me see if I have a story to tell you guys. Um, I guess what I can do right now is thank everyone that's been uh, commenting, subscribing, coming back, and just all, all, also all the new people. It's been really cool to watch this channel grow. Um, and it's, it's still fun to have it keep growing. So uh, thank you for that, and thank you for all the... You know, the OGs, the original subscribers, the original party people that have been here. Uh, I do do appreciate all of you. Um, okay, so story time. Let's see, what else can I tell you today? Um, as I finish this up, let me think. Let me think of a work story. I know there's one. Um, let's see, work story. Um, I'm just trying to think. I'm like, oh, there's tons, but I don't know what I want to actually tell you guys versus what I want to make a video on. Um, so I'll just, I'll just tell you the, the first one that kind of comes to mind, and then, uh, you know, uh, we'll just go from there. So, where I work, there is a, a post office in it, right? Uh, amongst everything else, and for you, they're like, oh, you work at the post office, and then, no, <laughs> it's a, it's a store that just happens to have a post office in it. Uh, so I'm not just a U.S. postal worker. Anyways, the... The lady that came in, um, she needed some stamps, but there was maybe, maybe three people in front of her. And, um, and the thing is, is if you want individual stamps, you can't just take them from the front register. Uh, you, you have to go to the post office and they have to break it for you and all that. All right. So now you got those rules out of the way. Um, it's helping the, the people in front of her, you know, just, they were all nice. They were cheery and... And then I finally get to this lady, right? I'm not trying to make this story too long. And and she just was really angry. Now, to put it in perspective, if she were to go to the actual post office, at least where I live, there's probably going to be like 10 to 12 people in front of her. And, you know, not going quickly at all because, um, you know, <laughs> that's the, like that's their job. That's what they do is just to... You know, the, not, the line never disappears, so if it takes them five minutes, it takes them an hour, you know, it's the same difference. While at work, I still have other responsibilities, so I try to get people uh, in and out as fast as I can. Anyways, um, she's just like, you know, can I get, uh, let's say three stamps, right? I, I don't remember. Um, and she's like, y you know what? She's like, I had to wait. I think she said like eight minutes, 10 minutes, even, even if it's 10 minutes, that's not 35 to 45 minutes like it would be in the normal post office. She's like, I had to wait 10 minutes to get these stamps. And of course, you know, I have to apologize. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. You know, I'm, I'm not, you know, and I, I kind of told her, I'm like, you know, you can buy whole books. Um, for those who are not sure what a book is, a book of stamps is 20 stamps, right? And that's how you sell them all together, which we can sell at the front. We're just like, yeah, you know, we're sorry you could buy a book at the front next time. And she's like, um, she's like, I didn't want a book. And, and she's like, you know what? Maybe, maybe you should put a sign or, or talk to someone about, about selling books at the, at the front register. So people don't have to wait. And I'm not doing it any justice, but the, Hey, there it is. But the way she was saying it, it was just really condescending. And she's just kind of like speaking as if, you know, I'm dumb. She's like, Oh, well, why don't you just sell? Like, it's that easy. Like, just go sell them at the front. You know, she doesn't understand that we can't do that. And the reason why we sell it in books is because that's how we do it. And that's how we order them. So we sell them in books versus, you know, someone coming in and it's like, Hey, can I get a book of stamps at the front? And you're like, oh, I got three. Sorry. <laughs> um, and still, you know, it was just more of a, like, come on, lady. Why do you got to be so mean? You, you, you waited 10 minutes. You got your stamps. I was pleasant. I smiled. I apologized. I told her to get out. No, <laughs> no I'm, I'm joking. Okay, so we got that. So story time's over. That's pretty much it. It wasn't too serious. It was just more of her tone. And and you really had to be there to see the expressions and, and her face and just kind of like how... She just was talking as if she was better than me, and I'm just like, okay, lady, if that's what you want to do, then that's what you're going to do. I'm just going to be behind this desk for a while. Anyways, so now that we got that, we can then at least start, right? It always seems to be what we're doing. We're able to kind of start projects without really finishing them until next episode or, you know, until we have the means. In this case, we don't really have the means. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put a few of the, as I walk right past it, <laughs> a few of these bricks down so, so it looks like uh, it's a dock, right? So we'll kind of do that. Uh, we don't need to go out too far, um, but at least far enough, right? What does this require? It wants, oh, we have eight and it wants two. Um, you know what? Uh, no, I don't want to make it three wide. Let's just make it, right, let's just make it two in, right? And that should do that. Oh, no, because it's going to be out of the circle, isn't it? All right, toggle display, where are we? Yeah, because, man. <laughs> okay, so if it's just two, it should be that then, right? There we go. Okay, so we have a dock. Uh, let me rip these up then. You know what? No, I'll keep them. It looks fine. And then maybe in the future we... Oh, I have to see it. How does this look? Um, it looks more like a dock, if anything else. So I guess we'll keep it. Where's my hammer? There it is. It's on my hotbar. Okay, so at least we have that down. We'll worry about everything else when we get there. But the nice thing is, is we found a barrel. So we can go ahead and just slap the barrel down. Uh, I guess maybe we'll make it like this. We'll put the barrel right there. So now that accomplishes two things. The only thing we need is the fish rack and the bait box. Which we'll do once we have the money. So before this episode ends, let's go ahead and... And let's go get the item sold so that we can hopefully make some fat stacks and do stuff like that. Um, okay. So I think I just realized something. <laughs> you notice how the time hasn't been going? I, uh, that's a fine item. Brick, that's a fine number. Oh, that's interesting. Show that. So I was in creative mode finishing, and I think I stopped time. <laughs> so this actually might be a really long episode. Stop. I can't see because my mic's in the way. Yeah, time resumed. Dang it. <laughs> oh, man. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not going to shrink it or cut it. You know, it's just one of those like, this is today's episode. So we'll get rid of all of this. This should give us some pretty decent money. So that's another thing you can do is if you can find the... The cabins it's just it's really lucrative just to tear them all down um and then just to sell everything because then you know you, you get a decent amount of money especially for the crates the crates always sell for a lot the roof blocks sell for a lot the windows don't sell for much because they're cracked but it's better than zero um can i get rid of i want two <laughs> i want two there we go these sell for a lot right so there's 600 right there for minimal effort Again, the windows, the roof caps, and there we go. We're at a, a grand. And to me, that seems a lot more lucrative or just seem, makes more sense than having to collect bugs all day. But uh, let me just run home, and then I'll just have to exit because I won't have to sleep because we'll have tomorrow's time for tomorrow. So let me just pause it real quick as I sign off but ladies and gentlemen thank you for tuning into this episode of our stacks playthrough uh be sure to tune in tomorrow i uh, guess technically next time uh, for for more of these awesome episodes um i guess that's i have nothing really to update you on so ladies and gentlemen always keep awesome and as always guys keep it real mm -hmm.